let us look at the second factor or rather second and third factor affecting the price elasticity of demand. These are basically income of consumer and the proportion of total income spent by consumer on given product. Let's consider them one by one. Income of the consumer. Now let's take case of two individuals X and Y. Let's say their incomes are 1 million and 10 million respectively. Okay, and let's spend that they spend on food 0 0.2 million, 0 0.2 million respectively. Now, if you see, Mr. X is spending 20% of his income on food, whereas Y is spending 2% of his income on food. Now, for some reason, if this 0.2 million goes up to 0.3 million. This will mean that X has to spend 30% of his income on food. Right? Whereas for Y it is only 3%. So the increase is 1% for Y and 10% for X. Now who is going to be affected more? I mean who is going to spend a bit less on these food items? Obviously X. So we conclude that if income of the consumer is low, okay, then basically the price elasticity of demand is high. So PE in case of X is equal to high. Whereas for Y, if the income is more, which is 10 million, he may not be very bothered. So even if the price increases, he would still go ahead and buy this thing. So his demand is unaffected by price and therefore is said demand is price unelastic. Now this example itself is also relevant for the third cause, third factor. Now for X, the increase was from 20 to 30 percent, a massive increase of 10 percent. For him, the total income he was spending on food items was very significant. So 10 percent increase would really take his budget off. He might have to cut down on his travel, right? Because food is something he may not be able to avoid. He may have to cut down on the clothes, electronics or other luxury items. But insofar as Y is concerned, because the increase is only from 2 to 3 percent, 1 percent, he is not impacted. So we say that if the proportion of total income spent by a consumer on a given product is high, demand is price elastic. Whereas if this income spent is low as in case of Y, then the demand is price inelastic. Meaning that it is not affected by change in price. Right?